Hmm. I, I remember that tournament. Uh, it was a good event. I did not do well, but Jay Ford, he barely wanted to play, but in typical Jay Ford fashion, he won the event. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> treasure those cards I have from him from that event. That you was, have cards was... from Jay Ford from that event? Uh, he was short a spell pierce and a uh spreading seas <clears throat> and uh, uh i believe the exact statement i loaned him them and then at like later at an event he's like oh i owe you these i'm like i'll only take them back if you sign them and <laughs> i ended up with i i'm i don't know if it, i have to look back at the cards i don't know what language they are i'm guessing chinese um, but he drew like himself holding the trophy on them, and it's fucking great. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we have a, another Pro Tour champion in chat. Ooh, hello. He's a boomer like us, but apparently he's he's just an hold, old fogey. He's hold, an old please. fogey. Pro, you said Pro Tour champion, which by definition makes him an old fogey. I think so. Yeah, I I agree. Uh... Even if it's Ellen Bogan. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay, we're pulling up. Yeah, I think technically I am one of the oldest millennials possible. Ari's like in the middle. And... I'm like I'm like just stock millennial. Like I was born yeah. in 1990, which is yeah. like. I think yeah. I'm like maybe two years older. Or two years younger than the oldest millennial, essentially. Uh, it actually says eighty-one. So oh, you're three, not... <clears throat> almost yeah. four because I was on the edge of eighty-four. You know. Yeah. So. Uh... Anyways, I don't know. I've not, I've been been enjoying uh, limited a lot lately. Kaldheim's pretty decent, and you know, Cons is a nice throwback. Though. Yes, we. I... It's <laughs> limited good. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm trying to like give a whole. I this is like I I feel like I understand how to draft call time, but I'm struggling how to like talk about drafting call time. It, Wait, uh, weren't you supposed to make me better at limited? It's a it's an yes, ongoing process. Call, call, well, call time is tough. It's just like a really there's a lot to process about like at every fucking level. In literally every single day, I learned something new about a card. Um, for example, I didn't know that the three red four two that counts creature types, the Basil Ravager, can hit players. Did you know that? Yes, I did actually. Okay, I, I did told someone that because I'm like, wait, isn't our opponent too? Why don't we just dome them? And the person was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you should read Basalt Ravager. Uh huh. Yeah. It's uh. Quite absurd. Oh, we have your evil twin in the chat trolling Lucas, as per we're told. <laughs> as always, as expected. Uh, so you weren't here for the Monday stream, but we had uh, we had a huge raid from Hat Nasif, also a old, yeah, old Pro I, Tour champion. I saw I, the I, uh, I saw the numbers on the stream at one point. I was uh, I was watching something else on Monday, probably yeah. Zelda Link to the Past randomizer, but you know. <laughs> and uh yeah the the bug deck i think is pretty good but it's not yes. all the way there yet it's uh it's close i think you know it, yeah. it's fine it, it's a work in progress so my friend brewed it he played it a bunch um but in his typical fashion he one dropped a ptq because he clicked through a lethal attack and he's like i'm done for the day i'm just i'm done yeah uh, i did catch some clips of that the the casinos looked better than i expected uh i don't I, I don't know how great they like. They looked better than Tracker would, which is the the impressive part. Well, I think Tracker's aged really poorly in modern, in my opinion. Um, I think paying maybe, mana yeah. and draw cards is washed. Yeah, draw. that's very true. That that's mana for cards is very much not a twenty twenty one thing. Now zero mana to draw all of your cards at once. That's a twenty twenty one thing. You know. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. I, you know, I think Aeon Chronicler would age better in twenty twenty one. Oh, and by the way, uh, people who want to donate their channel points to a good cause, we are thirty six percent to open all chests with eighteen days left to fundraise channel points. So you can. Oh yeah, Ari, Ari, click the button because he wants to see 
Who doesn't want to see like 200 plus chests being opened? I yeah, know Arya does. Are you going to open them one by one or open all? I haven't decided. <laughs> and uh, Andrew has brought up the old open all clip when I accidentally did it once. Uh, that probably I probably went okay. I was like 40 tickets under expectation for 240 chests, which is within reasonable parameters, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, that was a while ago. So anyways, all right, I think enough people have come here. All right, why yeah. don't you give us the five five sentence explanation of how to draft cons of Turkey here? Because I know you know. Okay. Five so sentences. I'm going to, I'm going to count. I'm, it's going to be five points. Okay. Okay, point one, the gold cards are really fucking good. And you should draft your decks to play the, like, let me phrase this. The gold cards are really fucking good. And they're the reasons you want fixing in the format. Mm -hmm. Point two, uh, there's not quite enough fixing in the format. So you are either trying to have all the fixing or not a lot of the fixing. Um, mm -hmm. Point three, uh, everyone is trying to make a three drop on turn three and have five mana on turn five. Uh, and the sizes are two, two and like four, five. So you need to like, those are like the key points of what you're trying to beat. Um, let's see what, what else is going on. Um, try lands are basically like the best thing ever and are better than <laughs> the vast majority of cards at their rarity. And the yeah. same thing with the common gain lands. Uh, there's literally only one common I take over the gain lands and there's maybe five uncommons or something like that. Well, what's the um, common? Don't remember. I think debilitating injury is. Bad. Oh, sure. That that tracks because that literally just kills their three drop for two mana. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is that like the creatures tend defensive in the format. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're like, like I said, four or five, but there's like a lot of other like two five reaches and stuff. So you really have to have a way through that. Um, mm -hmm. but like not. I don't know. It's kind of weird to describe. I, I'm losing the thread of like what matters here, but really that's like the top level stuff is like, you're going to be playing these like long games, hitting specific mana points and worrying about either having all the fixing. Oh, the fifth point is that the fixing is not like distributed in any kind of pattern. So the problem is, is that if you want a specific type of fixing, it's really hard, but if you just want any fixing, it's really easy. So that's how the five color deck works. We have our third teammate in the chat. Yeah. You remember. Oh, yes. All right. But you know who's leading the trophy award? Is this uh, one Jake Mondello. Yeah. He uh, he messaged me his first deck. He picked one, pack one, Rock Shasta, the Death Dealer, and was the only person in green black. Oh. He, uh, yeah. He made a, a classic mistake of having picked up two of the Sultai Morph, uh, Gadul Abomination, mm -hmm. but being green black with no fixing, and then just being like, oh, I need to take fixing instead of just like, I'm abandoning the other color. Yep. So um, I figured I would join the queue now because I'm not sure how long it will take to... It takes a little... I think it takes a little bit, but yeah. not a horrible amount. Um, so I guess the other... Like, if you aren't drafting five color in cons, um, you can end up in three colors if you just get the right fixing. Usually the way it works is you're five colors because you just, like, took fixing and got rares. Mm -hmm. uh, you can be... Usually you're, like, two colors with a splash or two colors double splash if you're, like, three colors. Um, or you're just like two en two colors, and it doesn't even have to be enemy colors. Actually, like the the two color decks, like white black warriors, everyone loved, and I thought oh, kind yeah. of was bad. Yeah. Um, the decks that I liked were green X aggro and blue X aggro, and the green X deck is like largely just like you're trying to cast awaken the bear or dragon scale boon on a creature at the right time, um, and the blue deck is largely you're trying to accumulate just guy wind scouts. Um, and sometimes there, like there is, like green blue was the deck that everyone forced because like those two things kind of overlap. But uh, I, I mean, I have seen blue black aggressive with Jeskai Wind Scout be good. I've seen green, like I said, green black. I mentioned I actually have, like drafted green black aggro. It really just doesn't matter as long as like you have the core in one color and then just like some other cards of the other color. Like if you just have like some black removal spells and Mardu Skull Hunters, it doesn't like that's fine as long as you have the awakened bears and stuff um so yeah so in chat andre said crippling chill best common thoughts that's i think debilitating injury was better but maybe in blue green he, 
he lived in a weird world. It, uh, we Wait, the... isn't he Wingmate Rock Kid? Yeah, yeah so, so, <laughs> this is good. So, okay, I'll let you tell the story. <laughs> so it is... Uh, so this is the round one of the PT. Um, I, I My deck is Wingmate Rock. I got past a Wingmate Rock, I want to say third pick, pack, second, third, second or third pack two. Um, and basically... It was, yeah, second pick pack two, I get a wingmate rock. And I play against the person who's two to my left. And they beat me with uh, Icy Blast, which is really good. And they, uh, they're they like, oh, you had wingmate rock. I guess you got the one that got passed. I'm like, wait, you were two to my left. That's a different one. So it turns out the, the person to my left had opened wingmate rocks, packs two and packs three. And they passed both. Um, that person was Andre Strosky. Uh, he went to one that draft. I went to one that draft. We both ended up in the same pod, uh, the first pod in day two, and we're both 7-1. And we th both 3 0 the pod because it was the weird 8-0 pod. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. So and we never played each other. And, like, <laughs> I drafted five color, and he drafted blue-green. And we were in the same pods with the same record. And, like, it was just this perfect scenario of, like, no one can scoreboard. It's the exact same situations, the exact same result. And, like, everyone just leaves completely disagreeing. The, uh, um, that reminds me of the Gabe Wall. This is Jeff Cunningham story. If you remember that one, the, the 19, the 19, and, a half. Uh, 19 yeah. and a half damage. Yeah. The, uh, notably the other wingman rock made it to, um, Neil Reeves, who was one of the people who pioneered this strategy. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was also in my pod and we both went to one in that pod. I had a, I had a weird route to two, one in that pod. I played against two players drew in the first round. And then I played against the person who drew who had a bad deck. And then the person they drew with got paired down against them. And they also had a bad deck. <laughs> my deck was great with wingmate. It, uh, listen, I I got past Trail of Mysteries that draft, and then the other draft I or sorry no, I got past Trail of Mysteries the second draft and opened it the first draft, so it was just easy mode. Your Trail of Mystery, for those of you who don't know, yeah. is a broken oh, wow. enchantment. Oh my gosh, it's one in a green. Whenever you uh, morph ETVs under your control, you get to search for a basic and put it into your hand. And whenever a morph you control turns up, it gets plus two plus two until end of turn. So, like, not only in this format where you need to hit three and five and have good mana, is it just, like, perfect fixing the whole way up uh, just for, like, participating in the game? Mm -hmm. uh, like, every time there's a morph fight, you win. Uh, not a good card. Nope. Uh, I believe you are supposed to take the land from this pack. Um, slight note, like, the enemy color lands are a little better if you start caring about actual fixing. Mm -hmm. um, Chief of the Scale is, like fine i actually think it's the better of the two because it's the two three in this format um the next best cards after the caves it's like chief and bonkin and then like savage punch mm -hmm. and dragon scale boon um i think the land first is just the best pick though can, can I, I say one thing i yeah. it annoyed the hell of me that shatter was in this format frankly oh, i forgot about that i didn't forget it was there to kill the banners but that's it, true i yeah. mean it, I mean, whatever, right? Banner's yeah. totally playable if you have good gold cards. Yeah. Um, I'm just, like, looking through the pack thinking. Uh, yeah, continue. Oh, by the way, this is Phantom, so we don't have to take yeah. any rare dragon, yeah, which is nice. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Uh, Sign of Glacier is notably bad. Double cost is Ooh. really bad. What, what was the rare, the red card next to that? Oh, that I card's do not... not very good. Wow, I don't even remember this card existing. Yeah. It was that uh, bad, I think. Air of the Wilds is really good. Yep. Uh, I, that is one of the uncommons I would take over the common lands. Um, Wait. The fat... There were basic lands in the packs, too? Yes. I don't remember this whatsoever. Holy well, they no. took them out of the packs for events. Uh, air trading up for like any big morph is really good. Uh, and it's just also like one of the best cards for the aggro plan. Which... These packs have been kind of loaded for the green aggro plan. Yeah, uh, but last it's, pack, yeah, it's yeah I'm, it is what it is. Uh, next best card in this pack, Savage Punch, and after that, probably Teamer Charger. But like, even that's not exciting. Probably if we, I would take a free Weapon Master after the Savage Punch. If but we're started. definitely taking Air to the Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yep. yeah. That, that's why I remember as well. Uh, I see a land. Uh, ooh, I see two lands. Um, Blue black, gonna, I think, was slightly better, but I don't remember why. I want to take the blue white land so that our fixing doesn't overlap. I see. Okay. Because like yeah. blue black, black red is not like if it was like black red, black white, I would probably take the black white land. But if we're so, not like in, our, if we're not like setting up to have good wedge fixing, I'd rather just like 
cover the spread. Um, I see. So we can cast more if, like, no matter what we open, we can try to cast it. Yeah. Well, like, so the whole thing comes down to like weird mana counts, and like, yep. yeah, I, we'll we'll get there in deck build if we go down the road. <laughs> um, Force away is the best card after the lands, right? Yeah. This card was pretty good in blue green aggro. This was. Yeah. So basically, the blue green aggro deck was actually a four power matters deck as well. For those kind of, yeah. So, like, Alpine Grizzly was good in that deck. Yep. Uh, worth noting, Death Frenzy is a, like, specific build of five-color control card that makes you want uh, Banner so you can turn for it. Not a good card. Uh, the pick here is between the land and the Dragon Ice Savants, and I'm probably just going to say the land. Okay. Um, Dragon Ice Savants is pretty good, though. Uh, I really like that card. Oh, so TCRF reminds us, gain lands were normal commons and cons. FRF was the one that had in the yep. land spot. Okay. That is correct. Now, this, now I remember. Uh, it's yep. been a while, obviously. Sorry, everyone. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, Dragon Ice Avance is quite good. Uh, 06 is bigger than, like, the the five mana flip morph, the biggest one is, like, a 5-5 five, five in teamer. Like, you have the locks it on at 6 to flip, but, like, yep. Savance just blocks everything. Like, you would just, like, block it. They'd spend their whole turn flipping it, and that, that was it. Um, am I supposed I'm to just take take, this? Or am I'm I taking to... a land. No, Warden is not one of the gold cards that's a payoff. All right. It's like fine, um, but you're looking for the card that like you want to Warden before that. Um, you, I've done a fair share of Wardening Villainous Wealth, but uh, yeah, I mean, the other like line of this draft is we could have taken like Savage Punch into Air, into like a trick, into Just Got Wind Scout, but I'm fine with where we're going. All right, so we'll just have to find some good cards at some point. Otherwise, we won't have a deck. It'll happen. Uh, interesting. I'm between the land and the kill shot. I think you're just supposed to take the land, but it's close. I would. All right. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I'm, I'm I, down so for the, it. The only reason I say the land it's close is because you already have two white lands and two red lands. Yep. Like you really want like a blue green land or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm okay taking the crag because that backdoors us into like a Mardu deck. I, we really don't have to make choices. Kill shot's just pretty good in this format. So, anyways. Uh, well, the land's finally gone, so we have to make a decision. And these cards are mostly not great. We can we can take, like, Whirlwind Adept or Become Immense and try to, if we need to backdoor into aggro, we can. I don't like Smite. And yeah. school tie banners. What you like? If you get want a banner, you'll get a banner. Sure. Do you remember how good Become Immense was? I don't remember playing with it. A I lot. don't remember it being that good. Okay. I'm fine with Whirlwind Adept. Uh, yeah. That lets you backdoor into, like, there's a blue-red aggro deck, too, where you're casting with Whirlwind Adept and Barrage of Boulders, which is just two and a red, one to each opposing creature, but if you're Ferocious, Falter. Take that. Ooh. Uh, take the multicolor one. It's yeah. close. Monastery Flock's also really good, but I think it's slightly more replaceable with, like, Sage Eye Harriers and stuff. Whereas, like, this, the Rider is just, like, a payoff for doing what we're doing. So, remind me, did this format originally have damage on the stack? I do not believe it. No, no, damage yeah. on the stack was uh, 2010, or 2009, it actually went away. Mm, so, okay. five years before. Uh, I'm fine taking Scion, personally, but maybe No, it's no, no, no. You, yeah, don't touch Scion. You want Disowned Ancestor, or you can take Dragon Scale Boon and see if you go that direction. I might just take... Honestly, I might just take Boon and see if we backdoor into blue, green aggro. Okay, I'm fine I, I don't think Disowned Ancestor is the most exciting card. No, it's not. There was It was, like, decent if you were that deck, but... Yeah. I uh, correlated with... Oh. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah. I think we are supposed to be in green aggro. Okay. Uh, River Wheel Aerialist is a good card. It was better in the next format, but it's... The problem is, is that, like, it's too easy to take one of the gold six-drop commons and just, like, not have to take that as a six-drop because it's just a six-drop. Yeah, we're taking that, and we're probably All yeah right. okay. We're okay. we're blue green. All right, maybe. I'm pretty clearly declaring it. We haven't seen a lot of gold cards. Like we take that dragon eyes of Ants. That card's so good. Uh, yeah, sure, or whatever. And probably... it's also a good card if you're there's a like if you want to be aggro and you draft white red cards. Remember when people played this in modern? Yep. It was Remember, fine. Now notice how it's completely bad. That's all. I mean, I'm that's say. probably because burn is bad because of other cards. Uh, Harold was really good, but it's not really for us unless yeah. you want to make it for us. I, well, I don't even think it was really good. It was just like conditionally good. I think you're supposed to take Mystic of the Hidden Way. Sure. Like, yeah, I don't. 
even if we're five color, I don't think we need the scoured barons. This card that card is like fine. secretly yeah, it, yeah. It correlated with the archer's parapet as well. Parapet like, and the two eight mammoth. Oh, uh, what was it called? War mammoth. Uh, no. Rotting mastodon. Oh, rotting mastodon. The four and a black two eight, right? Yep. All right. Yeah, Mystic was pretty good. We can move that leaping master out of our deck, though. Yeah. Oh, there's an Alpine Grizzly. There's a Crippling Chill. And there's a Land. Um, there's also this, like... No, that card's bad. That card was really bad in this format. It just trades yeah. for a morph all the time. And, like, you have to set it up. I think you're supposed to take the Chill, but I'm not 100% on this. It's been a while, too. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I mean, I'm you know, Strauss... Like Strosky says things, we'll believe them sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Wooly locks it on. Yeah, oh. I don't I don't remember this being that good. Like it was conditional. I but, it was not like But this is just exciting. big beefer. Yeah, that card's great. Yep. It, this is kind of interesting and in, like it's the reverse of usual where like usually you get forced out of five color because you don't have lands, and here we're getting forced out because there just aren't cards. Um are there cards we could see that would make us go ooh, back? Oh, dang. But, Wind Scout, though. But, uh, gosh, I love Wind Scout. We have a boon, I think, and I think we might wheel another boon, so I'm fine taking the punch. I just, yeah. Wind Scout is so good. Wait, what are you doing? That's a five drop, Jarvis. Yeah, it's already in our deck. Yeah, I know. Take another chill. This pack doesn't really do anything else. You can probably swap the positions of team or charger. Uh, interesting. Um, I think I would, back in these days, I would have taken either Set Adrift or Longshot Squad, but I don't remember. I would anymore. take Whirlwind Adept over Longshot Squad. Squad is just kind of slow and clunky. So I think it's Set Adrift or Whirlwind Adept. Okay. And I think I would take Set Adrift. We already have one Adept, and we're not the red version where the card's more important. Fair enough. Blue Green Land? Uh, question mark? Yeah. Easy. Not really excited by Treasure Cruise. How about Tusk Colossodon? <laughs> uh yeah so what i said about six drops that don't like yeah. you want your six drops to cost three all right uh wind I guess scout I, yep oh yeah get that wind scout we have two chills for it as well it's like yeah it's high one game boys we could use another two but i don't really care like the sandbar can be our two we're not taking Vizier, so was this card? I don't even remember. I don't think this card was anything special. No, no, I think it was like acceptable if you drafted oh. the Fabiano discard deck. Yeah, or... yeah. the Rakasha Secrets. Uh, yeah, like he, kill your opponent, even yeah. then, only acceptable. Sultai Banner, just in case. I guess no. Uh, we should. Oh yeah, there's that boon I was talking about. We should have taken the. Oh, there Highland Games Strike upgrade to uh, Wetland Sandbar. <laughs> that 05 Bloodfire Mentor won me so many games. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was actually a fine card. It was so good in five color. It blocks. Yeah. Then it Ooh, there's a morph. Out. It's not a good morph, but. Yeah, it's technically playable, I guess, is how I would put it. But Yeah. Oh, I did mean that literally, by the way. I did attack for lethal with that 05 like three times. Yep, like, sounds like something you would do. Yeah, I like Villainous Wealth, my opponent's Jeskai Ascendancy once. I put <laughs> I put counters, or I plus one with, with Teamer Charm and fought something. Speaking of Villainous Wealth. Yeah, I'm very sad that we are not like, participating Actually, in Villainous this Wealth. Pack... This pack is not good for us. Uh, I would probably take the Rider, I think, is the highest yeah. upside. We don't have the fixing for it, but like we could have the fixing for it later. Unless I'm trying you want to remember if I was supposed to take saying Bell Strike here. It's kind of whatever. It's not the most yeah. I don't think it's the most exciting thing. So the problem with saying Bell Strike for all of you is that they'll eventually get to six to untap their creature. Yeah. 
Ghost Rider Blade, Blade how on the sick. on the other hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, that card is unpassable. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Well, someone passed it and they took an uncommon. What did, yeah, what do you think I they mean, took? it just looks like a stupid equipment artifact thing. Like, why would you... No, the card's unbeatable. Uh, it's really good. Are you uh, looking table Rugged Highlands? Yeah, or we could table Glacial Stalker or Alpine Grizz. Bad pack. Best yeah. card is Anafenza. Maybe actually Mardu Charm's better than Anafenza, actually. Yeah. No, the the like oversized cheap creatures were really good. Like if you just hit your mana on time and cast them, it was really easy to win. I would rather I think I'd rather have the wetland sandbar than the bad morph. Oh uh, no, we, eh. we could take this hypothetically, no, but it's we not that exciting. Take that. Bring low is so bad. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, but Ghostfire Blade is super, super, super good in this format. Yeah. It, uh, for those of you who don't know, you just target your morph and then it's just really really quite good. Uh, the sample stroke was really bad in this format because all the expensive cards have yeah. morph. Uh, we don't have a blue black land. Uh, I could just take the delta and spec. Yeah, I'm okay with that. It's pretty low cost. Like we're not actually giving anything up. Like the no, you you wish that was a a wooded foothills, but you know, probably another force away. Yep. Watch yeah. if the wrist was decent, by the way. Oh, Bellwing Saddle Brute was good. That card was really good. Yeah, but it's not for us. Uh, this is Phantom, JW. Yeah. So, like, literally, that doesn't matter. Can you move the... Uh, we'll get there. We have 12 creatures. Yeah, Possibly need, more, because we, we got need, more sandbars. Oh, I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. Further right, Jarvis. There's one that... Yes. Really? We're just not going to take 6 and a 4 or 5 Flying Prowess? Well, they cost 6. Jarvis. Sash can't keep all of the Rhinos. Well, there are plenty of Rhinos... The Rhinos are all in the picture where uh, Ari played against, uh, what's his name? Tiago? Yeah. Yeah. There were only Siege Rhinos, according to Twitter. That is correct. Yeah. It's, Wind Scout is so good. Uh, I would be okay playing a Become Events. That is not a good morph. The problem is that it unmorphs into a 4 4 and everything beats a 4 4. Fair enough. Well, if we we're a Wind Scout deck, Become Events, I think, is really good. We have a Nox in the chat. Uh, wow, this pack is... I would take Parapet uh, just as like a cyborg card if we guess. need to go down that road. This pack did not turn out the greatest for us, but I guess we got like a fun really well, We card. need a red uh, land, I think. Which, do which doesn't exist. We can take a uh, Blinding Spray for the sideboard against Warriors. Against oh, now. yeah, that card was in Sandverse Warriors, wasn't it? Yeah, It was fine. It's a lot of mana to leave up. Which yeah. uh, Corset had Heart Piercer Bow? 20. And people complained about getting bowed out. Because it was arena bots. That was the only reason people complained. All right. Uh, I th yeah, I think that's better than Glacial Stalker. By a little bit, at least. We only have one Savage Punch, but we have a bunch of these. Um, I mean, we have the Ghost Fire, but you, whatever. You'll Ghost Fire or something, and you'll win the game. Uh, you could take Smite as a sideboard removal spell. We have two White Fixers, I guess. And whatever. I don't really... Yeah, I'm not really into naturalizing things. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, we've reached the whatever point. This yeah. card was actually sort of fine depending on the matchup, but... I don't believe you, but... Oh. oh. This might go in the deck. Actually, probably will. Uh, maybe. I don't know what our playable count is, but... I... Uh, this is Phantom, yes. Yeah, so we can cut every land... Uh, ex we want the Delta because of Delve. Okay, so let's so move we're... our morphs to the three, except for the charger. Right. We don't. I don't think the snowhorn riders are good. We could play one mountain. No. Why would you do that? We only have fourteen creatures, by the way. Yeah, but we have a wetland sandbar on the sideboard, right? All right. So, um, so we have thirteen creatures, and this would be sixteen lands. We probably want to cut a spell and just leave the Water creatures. World. You think that's the worst one? Yep. All the other spells are cheap. I think Set Adrift is better than Water World. Is Become Immense better than Water World? Yeah, we have two Just Guy Wind Scouts. That's just like one shot lethal, basically, right? All right. 
We're short, like, a morph on our colors or whatever. Just, like, one creature. Eight. Yeah, I'm... S Wait, no. It Finish. should be the other way around, because yeah, we have yeah, the yeah. Delta. Opposed, figure it out. So we have one Delph guard? Two, two. Delph guards. That's yeah. why the, the Delta is actually pretty important. Yeah. Can we just look through what we got real fast? I don't... Ooh. I'm not opposed to adding a single off-color morph. I'm just thinking through. It would have to be over a spell. Which would probably be the set adrift. The set I don't know. It's close. Bad removal. The removal wasn't that bad. I think in this set, the removal was good. Like yeah. all the gold cards kill something. Kill shot. Debil just... And debilitating injury was just good because it traded yeah. two mana for three most of the time. The, the removal was below par, but because the format um because all the creatures are so like mana intensive in the format, it was fine to like write to the serpent something. Hmm. So do you want to play like a snow horn rider over like set adrift? Okay with that. Alright. Uh Tudor was in the set. Oh yeah, renowned weaponsmith was in that set. I had a lot of success in M20 drafting white. And just never putting an X one in my deck. Like I valued the one in a white two two that gains first strike pretty highly, um, and that was just like my strategy for the format. All right. Yeah. Lightning spray main with immense kill to appease the fog. Which card? Are you, uh, I don't think I want to do that personally. Yeah, but... I don't think I don't think like <sighs> the format does not. Trying to think of the white, the right way to describe that is not how the format pans out usually. Like it is very matchup specific whether your opponent is trying to jam hard at you. Um, usually the Mardu colors. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I think that you would cut become immense in the matchups you want blinding spray. It's very unlikely to have both happen at the same time. Uh, we could have taken like one uh, rugged highlands at some point, but I don't I remember. Think the the problem was that by the time we started, like, we were just on the blue-green train. Like, we started off the draft. I'd have to look back at what we passed, but I think that we basically were, like, five-color dedicated just because, like, we just saw packs where, like, we had to choose blue-green or five-color for the first, like, ten picks and then, like, just never saw the five-color payoffs. All right. Got match one of the night, y'all. And remember, I can block Warriors. Yeah, you can do that in this set. Uh, yeah, great, cool. Yep. Yo, what's up, Elamora? This, this hand is kind of flawless. You just have two through five locked up, and like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yep, fine hand. Don't accidentally play a forest next turn. Should I have just played an island to make sure I couldn't make that mistake then? Oh, I do that all the time playing digital. But I managed to survive the misclick. Yep. AKA no misclick. What is that emoji? There is an emoji? Yum TV Pog. I see. Uh, no, it, we're playing as a gray ogre because of creature count. Which is fine. Well, maybe it's not fine, but it's what we're doing, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm not offended by it. I, I think it is totally fine for this format in this specific scenario. Um, okay. It's I accept. Fine. So it's like maybe a mirror-ish? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, time to just play Alpine Grizzly and say go, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. I don't remember if there was a trick for a single blue or green anymore. Just arbitrarily leave up one. You're supposed to do it confidently, Jarvis. It's been a while since I've seen a knuckle blade in play. It's got a lot of text. Um, Most of it is pretty good. I mean, like yeah, it has a lot of good abilities. But it it was not as good as Siege Rhinoceros in the constructed format. <laughs> no, few cards were though. Okay, that's fine.
it's what a three one yeah so, so you just shove with both and if they block the three one you make a six four yep and if they don't block i just deploy the four two yeah that's okay i was thinking about whether you wanted to deploy the two one and then tap their knuckle blade but Fine. I think if they serve with the knuckle blade, you're supposed to give the block there. Oh, arrow storm. That's cool. Okay, whatever. We traded cards for cards. Yep. You just play your four two, attack for two, and like you know. Carry on with my life. Yeah. I uh, see. Tap. Leave up a blue one turn. Leave up a green the next turn. Yeah, you got to keep them guessing. It's an Arnold Palmer. Balance your range. That, that's not really how that works, Jarvis. Look, just balance your range, Rory. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I should have actually left up a blue again to buff Starm Denial, except no one actually played that card, so. Yeah, that is true. So it is kind of a pseudo mirror here, it looks like. <laughs> Azax was like, did someone say Starm Denial? <laughs> Good old stubbies. Interesting spot. I believe. You are supposed to tap the morph and draw a card. All right. I think you need to attack this turn to win the game is the problem. I agree. Okay. Uh, I think I should just attack for seven. Wait, hold I on. I agree. Yeah, no. I, I should be attacking for seven, right? Yeah, I think with one card in their hand, you've got to just, like, you know, make them have it. All right. Good old buddy B. And then, uh, hold up, hold up. How many, how, let me read, I forget if that gains trample. Knuckleblade does it not, It does not. Right? And you okay, can only yeah. activate it once per turn as well, which is the other key. Yeah, I, I knew that part. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's, you can morph that, that's fine. Not the best spot like this is this is one of the reasons the five color deck is so exciting in this format is that like every game you play a gold card on curve is so good so if you just have the most number of gold cards you're great yeah that's not great for you but no nope, but we can draw like force away or savage punch uh punch is not the greatest but okay yes. force away is fine yeah i agree um Yeah. I mean, you're going to four. You don't really have another option. Uh, all right. I think I just attack and play high end game. Attack with what? Well, I'm not Are really you allowed to attack with both, right? Um. So I guess, what is your route to lethal next turn? You can draw Savage Punch for exact lethal. Mm -hmm. Right? If they, like, play a small blocker. So I think the play is... Hmm. One second here. Okay, so... Uh, if you attack with both, you're gambling that their morph doesn't have enough power. Yep. Um... Which is not a great gamble. It would be like a free weapon master, uh, monastery flock. I, I don't actually mind that gamble. I think I don't know how we beat the morph if it's that big. So okay. I kind of just want to put them to four and play the Highland game and just like accept defeat, rather than like playing to margin shots of like. Uh, I don't know, Nox, but we yeah, also sure. should not assume gender in this chat. We don't do that here. I prefer the term villain, personally. Villain or opponent. So, you this... the two... so the problem is that every trick that beats the... that pushes the 2-1 into the knuckle blade uh, is something that trades your entire turn and both of your cards. And, like, I think every opponent's going to be fine with that in that slot. MJ likes enemy. Yeah, There's, enemy is nice. 
there's like there's three mana plus three plus three in trample and uh the plus two plus two counter trick we have and both of those mean that our two one trades with a knuckle blade and like trading two cards and your opponent's entire turn for your card is just like always going to be super like a th it's it's six mana and two cards for a three drop it's just so brutal and all knuckle blade really is is a six six like uh, Ocho right. used to call opponents villain as well. Yep, that was originally in Ochoa. Oh, yeah. evil. He. Yeah. Ochoa used evil. That's what it was. But it's basically the same thing as villain. Ooh, our opponent's in the tank. Did it. Wow. Block. All right. Uh, I guess, I mean. So that means this does not have sufficient power to kill me, right? No. Um, it, I don't know what else it means about their hand, too, because they're, like, angling for the adept to not attack. I mean, you just hit him for three. You don't really have another play. Yep. Yeah, like, this is, this is right. what we got. Yep. I mean... So lots of ways it could go wrong, but I'm not going to worry about it. Wow, they really just didn't... Okay, I mean, I guess I'm dead now, but... This... Yeah, like, I, I don't know how you would beat that card if you didn't. Like, no, I was gonna... I was just dead to it 100% of the time. Yeah. But... You just spot shocking them on the knuckle blade. Good call. All right. It's always a locks it on. <laughs> yeah, like, I... I... Did we have two mana up in a card in hand? And they were we like, did. oh, but if, we did. if I go for it, I could lose the game. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. We just had lethal. Anyways, it's beyond me. If you're gonna, I would rather have Sedidrift than Waterworld, honestly. I don't think... Maybe I should just submit and hope I draw less lands. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. King Two Warden looks pretty good here. Just regen blocker. It wasn't a uh, solo roll Numenor because I think they were scared of Force of Way, except their play didn't really play around it. Right? Yeah, they just they would die to Force Away, right? You just bounce the locks on and kill them. I kind of want to go to six. I, in actual cons draft, I would keep that, but in Mal London Mole World, like Jarvis. All right, I guess I'm going to five. Yeah. All right. That's I fine. Guess. This is a good five. Assume, just shift. Yeah, double island. Yeah. Right. Yep. And I'm not playing this on turn one. That is uh, a huge Absolutely crowd. not. Yeah. We're probably dead, though. Like, Really? Yeah, Just Guy Wind Scout's a good card, man. Yeah, I don't. If you draw a good mix of lands and spells, we're fine. They didn't even play around Force Away for a single turn. They, I think they just like. No, 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 Jarvis, Jarvis, Jarvis! You're not blocking Jeskai Elder. All right, fine. You're right. All right, you're right. I also love Jeskai Wind Scout, but not as much as Ari did. I think. I think his love was greater than mine. So I guess we're just giving them cart or we're giving them loots, but we'll get to hit them for damage. Yeah, we'll have we'll get to it later. This is a pecking stream, not a blocking stream. I guess that's accurate. Yeah, just go Winscout's just like a really good card. I don't <laughs> I I don't know what to say. Oh cool, we killed a four five. We didn't kill a four five. They probably just have a six seven instead. No, we killed a four five. It's fine. That's not how that works. We only killed a 4-5 if they spent the mana to actually make the 4-5. We defeated one of their cards 39 to go. Yeah, that's that's accurate. <laughs> if they attack with more for blocking, I just want to put that out there. It's obvious. Yep. I see it in the graveyard, therefore it's dead. Damn it. 
And one more. Trade. Don't trade. 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 Don't give Ari ammunition. That is a good trade. Yeah, five minutes at uh, threshold. That's why it's safe to make these blocks. It's not yep. like onslaught where if you block here, you might just get like crack horned. Yeah, there's the uh. I think there's like one way for it to go, or at three mana no. They the the nightmare was two morphs, and one of them's a rattle claw mystic, and then everything goes bad. If I did the math right. You're basically having lethal next turn, right? Uh, You're actually... 6, 12, 13, 14? Basically. Six, tw yeah, 6, 12, 13, 14 from the Prowess Trip. I am not interested in blocking. I'm not either. Yeah, classic onset where you're 50-50 to lose. <laughs> either you lose or you don't. This is why Onslaught Legion's Scourge was so much better. Because, among other reasons. Yeah. Our opponent has so many tri lands. What the hell? That's I just they were, I wonder if they were in our draft. No. Um, I don't really want to trade that for that. I don't either. I'm fine just pecking them. And then playing this 2 2 Death Toucher. Yep. And I, I think we just like. Continue to not block. We're in a good racing spot, so I don't really care. Shop says, good thing we defeated one of their trial ends. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's a new meme now. Now you've just made it happen, Ari. <laughs> and it gets looted away, it's like uh -huh. we defeated it, right? Yep. Oh, boy. You would attack that you... and become immense to fire. I don't know. I think we can do better. That's yeah. I don't really issue. want to trade become immense. Like I want to. I'm gonna work stuff out. Am I supposed to block this morph? No, right? No, I don't care. Yeah. Thirteen life. That's safe. Well, we're at sixteen. Oh, 13 counting three damage already. Yeah. Weapon master. Bug Master would be fine. That's, that's the... I don't know. I'm trying to remember if Jeskai Older was actually this good in that format. Uh, it was... Fine. Pretty good. I think yeah. it was like... I'm trying to think of the... It was like a C plus, B minus card somewhere in there. Hmm. That's not great for us. So they must have drawn it off the loot? No, they probably looted into uh, the delve to leave out mana or something. Do you think so? Do you like trading the common mints for the morph and getting plus seven damage was worth a card? I... I think we can get more. So what I want to do... Oh, what do I want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, attack with Air and Jeskai Wind Scout. Leave back Adept. That's what I wanted to do too. So this is plus seven damage, so that's only Yeah, 12. so you just play the morph. Yeah. And hopefully we can sneak in a lethal attack next turn. I want to get this morph into combat this turn. Yeah, I'll just block their second morph, I think. That's uh, also their, Mike. Th their fourth morph, rather. I forgot that... Wait. It what counts your morph. Your oh, morphs. I see. So this was the first. Other way. Uh, yeah, first. No, that was the second. So it. Where's the first? Wait, was that the first? Who? Which was the second? Oh, they cast Force Away, right? No. No, they're yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I would block immediately. 
not on the sandbar though. Block on the morph. Your goal is, to, like I said, eat their mana and force them to like die horribly. And if they make a six seven, who cares? Okay, we guessed right on that one. Yeah, it felt like it. I don't know why it felt like it. It just did. It's fine. So we're at seven. Oh, we traded for a morph. The mystic was the first morph. Yep. That's what it was. Yes. Oh. Uh, but now you have little foretell counters to tell which card is which. All right. I guess I just try to kill them. Yeah, I was. We don't have any other lines, so. I hope it's not Ice Feather, even. That costs three. You sure? Yeah, it's one blue green to unmorph. I think targeting this is correct technically, but I also think it kind of doesn't matter. I don't think it matters either. Oh, it's blue. It's only blue green to unmorph, Ari. Really? It's blue green to cast. Uh... Yeah. It's one blue green to unmorph, and it's blue to green to cast. Oh, blue green to cast. I see. I see. Uh, pretty dead now. Yeah, I. I mean, you literally are right. Because if. Oh we... no no no! I can play my win, replay this. That's why I targeted. Oh, that one. good good. I yeah, actually I... did think about that, but this is not the best. That's why I targeted that one, chat. Yeah. I actually did think about that, because I'm like, well, I, it, like, Force Away is mostly winning, but it's not completely winning, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that's completely winning. Yeah, uh, um, that was I don't know. Chat. We shouldn't mold a five in the future, and we should draw less lands. Yep. I, I don't have a good answer for what we were supposed to do. Jarvis smart, Jarvis dead. Both of those are accurate. All right. Well, we'll try again. The knight is young. We're not going to catch up to uh, generate winner anytime soon, though. <laughs> is Jake at two or three? Two. Two. But the last one was earned at 510. So he got two within four hours of the queue being up. Gotcha. Which is like a decent rate. Louis, with that, with a statement like that, you should consider subbing to this channel. The pedantic usage of less or fewer. That's all I'm going to say. It's just a suggestion. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything because I can't. You know how it is. Shop wants me to draw less lands. Why would they make this phantom? I don't know. Uh, but... I think they make them all phantom just to like... No, that's not true. Modern Horizons is not. Oh, well, Modern Horizons I think is... There's a supply different. issue for certain cards. Uh, well, yeah. this hand's great. I think they found that with the old draft formats, making them non-phantom and making the buy-in just didn't make sense. Like, people were like not drafting them as much or whatever. They did some like A-B testing. That card Am I supposed to play good. the Ghost Fire Blade on one? Yeah. You, you want it on the battlefield so you could like play a three drop and right, right, right. Uh, yeah. Why can't I draw the this one of the last game? I don't know. It just didn't happen. Yeah, I think this card was actually close to unplayable now that I remember it. But that's correct. It does not do anything. It is bad fixing. The fact that your opponent used it and did not get a third color is uh, dicey. Their avatar is Jeweled Lotus. Does that tell you anything? No, it doesn't. I don't know how you get that one. I think you played the Commander of Legends cues. Uh, I'm not casting this, right? It looks like a treasure chest avatar. No, you're not casting that. You'll you'll get there later. Maybe you'll be able to eat like the entire unmorph cost. You want to play the morph? Yeah. Uh, I 
think, yeah. I do. think so as well, because then next turn I can play Jeskai Windscout and equip yeah. and attack. Well, so my thought was actually that like it's possible your morph is not able to attack next turn because of... Uh, I guess you can always just like I can always just unmorph it, right? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That that makes sense then. I think if it was like a glacial stalker, you'd have to consider it a bit more. Oh, I see. Yeah, Mark, this uh oh no. They have a good card. It's kind of a disaster, actually. Oh, I wouldn't call it a huge disaster. Okay, never mind. Drew a better never mind. Move. Never mind. Everything's fine. The disaster is that you have Ghost Fire Blade and your opponent's going to lose to it. Well, that's a disaster for someone, not us. Yeah. I agree. So they could technically, like, unmorph, but I'm not blocking. Oh, okay. That's a good one to Savage Punch, though. Yeah, th that's the one that gives Hexproof when it flips up, right? Yeah, but it's been used. Yeah. I don't think you have, like, a... You're not in a rush to Savage Punch. No, uh, no. Oh, yeah, this also smells suspicious as hell. I mean, you're attacking. Yeah. Who cares? With my 4 mana 4-4? Four, four? Yeah. Um, I would play Wind Scout. Yeah, I was trying to remember if, if there's a reason not to, but whatever. I don't think there really is. Like, the reason not to would be, like, your opponent can't really Death Frenzy, so who cares? Uh, death Frenzy is a 2 for 2, and we're with a 4 for 4. So. It's a 2 for 1 in the other way, yes. Oh, right, right. right. Yeah, never mind. I'm not blocking. Mm -hmm. I no, think, I agree. I think, like, if I get to use the Savage Punch or, like, Force Away plus Savage Punch, it's just so insane. What is this? Hootie? Okay. Oh, that's a good one to force away, I guess. Yeah, I think you are supposed to force away. The I mean, I could go for the Savage Punch. No, no, they, I, yeah. they, they delved a card. They're leaving up two. I'm not involving myself in that. Yeah, that's what I also think. I think you may have been supposed to just attack, but continue. I would probably discard that land. Then what's the plan? What's the plan in the next few turns? Let's just think it through. Do stuff. I, there's not really a... Like, you just have, like, a bunch of cards that are flexible based on what your opponent does. Well, what about I don't those? think that's turning up. I'm not paying. I Like, we just have all these... Like, you want to discard Dragon Eyes of Mons? I don't. I, I think that we have too right. many things that are do with our mana that are better than turning this Loxit on face up. So they don't have Force Away? Or Disdain they're just waiting? Stroke? That was weird. Disdainful Stroke, probably. What? What just happened? Why did they no, concede? No. I don't... Maybe they only have lands and possible. angels. Very That's, possible. That seems more likely than the alternatives, right? Uh, I don't know. Probably just submit, right? Uh, yeah. That's fine. They really just wanted to know our morph. That seems likely. <laughs> well, they found out it was 6-7 for 6. Yep. Ooh, I'm glad that we didn't have to deal with... What was your Fertel card? Paper. I don't really understand that rule, but... What rule? It, apparently, you're not forced to reveal them. Yeah, I know. You're confused, right? I'm very confused, yeah. It's possible... I, you know what I think the, the, the deal is? I think the arena developers were too lazy. Ooh, I'm going to play this. Yep. 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 And then I can play this as a morph. I don't know if I would do that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Trade. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can awaken the bear on me. I don't care. Okay. They didn't have a Three is more than two opponent. Uh, 
Arena does not show them at the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it does. I think you might be able to look at them, but... I kind of want to play the Wind Scout, and the next turn you can play the Blade, get a trigger, decide whether you want to equip it, and then play the Morph. Okay. Oh, you have to click the View Battlefield button? But MT Joe outright doesn't show the Fortel cards. So, that's weird. Whoa! I accept. So they just want to hit a land, probably, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah, I would play the morph in the ghost fire. You mean pioneer playable ghost fire blade? Yeah, but it didn't reveal uh, foretell cards, P Mega, every time I checked. Is it unnecessary? I don't know. Like. Okay, uh, our opponent just really didn't want to play that. I'm going to use the restroom real quick for two seconds, yep. but... Sounds good. Match three will come up, and probably at least yeah. another draft. Yeah, do we want to do this format, or do we want to do... Uh... No, we're, we're... Today is Khan's day. Okay. I was going to ask if we want to do call time, but if it's Khan's day, I'm okay with it's all It's Khan's day. It's, we're, we're throwing back to happier days where organized play was the best. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, my literal assumption is that they know there's no paper OP and they don't want to deal with it. And, like, by the time that, like, yeah, they're just going to let it ride out. I mean, they'll implement it later. It's just easier not to deal with it now. Ooh, looking at some modern deck lists that Jury T posted. With no Cosimas. Oh, with Cosimas. No, it's just Uro and Cosimas. Yeah, they, at least another six months. Uh, yeah, if there's a relevant paper tournament before 2022, let me know. Uh, if you foretell lands without foretell, you bluff that you have foretells. Yep. Uh, it tucks cards in hand out of discard range. It can put you to hellbent. There's a lot of stuff. Um, like, it's not as obvious as, like, this is a 2-2, but, like, you know, there, there is a non-zero advantage. Uh, yeah, I, they would have to implement something. Yeah, Khan's draft, I think, has aged well. Uh, it's kind of been like a weird, the playable count thing kind of shows up, and it's not the greatest, but like, it's mostly fine because of Morph. I find it, yeah, the... Would Watsi, yeah, I do not believe that Watsi would do that before 2022 in any way. Especially when, like, I'll, they're not even really the TO anymore, right? They've, like, pawned off running GPs to CFB. It's, like, some third-party organizer that, like, handles the, like, production of all the arena events. They're, yeah, they're not doing that. They have at least another six months, yeah. At least, probably. Yeah, more. I, I'm with Sweet. Jay Hollow that 2022 is probably about the right range. I have, I am excited that the not to shill, but the SCG tour online is or qualifier. It's really just an SCG. I play these events because they're like you know SCG. It's what 5k payout, and like you get to play it from your couch, and it's standard and it's fun. The competition in those is like pretty high. You play against like a lot, like Christoph Prince won one of them. And like, it, I have enjoyed playing those events um, a lot. And which is interesting as someone who like doesn't enjoy playing the arena events. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't enjoy the arena events. I think- you I do not the enjoy, the arena qualifiers I find really unfun. Okay, I would keep that hand. Yeah, this is like, Low end of keep boy, I think. Your opponent mold the six, so I'm just going oh, like, to keep anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the the way I described the the arena events that you saw that the other day, right, Jarvis? Like every single arena qualifier is like you play an LCQ for the RPTQ. Yeah. And you had to qualify, you had to enter the LCQ with store credit that you won from events. Like it's just just an arduous amount of time. Ooh, there we go. I'm playing a face-off, right? Oh, yeah. 
because of the curve. Like the curve Listen, works out perfectly. Green blade of the sixth bride is still blade of the sixth bride. <laughs> uh, yeah, LMR. That's I. There, I agree. There's a lot of things about arena that are not ideal, and you know, frankly, that's why I enjoy MTG more. But you know, that makes me a boomer. That's what I heard on the streets. Think I'm supposed to play Wind Scout? I'm trying to remember. I think so as well. Yeah. I I would like to play that is most likely to get them dead against an Ascendancy. Arena is a weird facsimile of magic that also has video game elements, in my opinion. Yeah. Ooh, this Creeping Chill is dicey. It's not so good for just got Ascendancy. No, That's... it's not. It's not <laughs> exceptionally good versus that card. Boomer on the street, something the sheets. Yeah, that's uh, about accurate for me and Ari, I think. More so me, I think, than Arnold, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess I'm just attacking. Wait. Yeah, I'm attacking and playing a morph, I guess? I mean, you're attacking... Yeah, I mean, you're attacking and kind of seeing what happens, what doesn't really matter. I think I'm fine trading that for that, frankly. I... Absolutely agree, especially with Ascendancy. Yeah. Snoopy in the sheets. Ah, I see. Oh, Sweepy in the sheets. That's a nice one. Yes, we traded two for four. Math. We did it. I was trying to think if there was an argument for just, like, beef moding the flyer. Yeah, I, I think that's a little aggro. I think it's not great because still all of the red commons kill it, right? Yeah. I... It might have. I mean, you're playing your land and battling, but yeah. I'm just thinking through like what our plan is if they have take up arms or something stupid. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, actually, I think this works out okay. Yeah, um, I think it's fine. I think that the 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 question is how they block. They probably don't, and they just try to, like, I can't believe go you off I had forgotten this card existed, frankly. It's been way too long. Yeah. I mean, it was in the draft, so that's one of the reasons I remember it. I usually don't remember it because well, it's not a good card. Actually, honestly, probably our opponents were in the same draft because it was basically the same timeline, right? Uh, no. So our second opponent had a 0-0 zero, zero record, so they were definitely not in our draft. Oh, I see, they, like, I see, I see, I see. Unless if they waited, yeah. Yeah, I so yeah, your first opponent let me see. I, I don't know if chat goes that far back. Probably doesn't, but it no so the first opponent was definitely in the same draft. Okay. And this opponent. Alright, they didn't block and they discarded Arrow Storm. That's concerning. I think we're Interesting. So my issue is this card looks pretty bad, and also like I kind of want to deal them damage, but it's also kind of concerning that they discarded Arrow Storm. <laughs> yeah, I am really concerned about that. I'm trying to figure out when we're supposed to cast Force Way. Really, is what's going on. It's worth the damage if we do it here, but I think I think you want to play Sandbar and pass the turn. And you can All Force right. Way later. This is really concerning that they would discard a removal spell. Is what... it's like especially because they have red red. Like it's so I know. Good with... Like I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm like, what does that mean? It has to mean something, right? I, I mean, it means nothing good for you. Jeskai charm. I'm blocking 100. percent I think like there's no way this like ever gets to attack for damage. Yeah, I don't think so either. I I. Wow, I caught it. All right, I guess I, I would. No, you. I would block and then see if they do something, and then. No, it'll they'll be through threes, right? Oh, right, right, right. I forgot that it's double plus one. So I'm, I think I'm supposed to just bounce one now and be really sad that this is in play. That's fine. Oh, uh, let them loot first. Oh sure. Now I'm I really sad. Could, oh shoot! You could get feet of resistance. Oh, but the loot hasn't happened yet, so I can still do it. Yeah, I would just do it now. All right. Yeah, I getting feed, feed is... was in this. Feed would um, be bad. Feed is so good. It's pretty good. I think it was actually better in M21 than it was in this set. 
No, it was better in this set. I don't know. It was uh, kind of messed up period, right? Like it Yeah, it, it was just... very good in M21, but it was better in this set still. Uh, M21 had less clear-cut sizing, so I believe that... Uh, like, it was, like, when you feed it and want a more fight, it was just a freaking disaster. Oh, that's right. But, yeah, they're gaining six. This was kind of bad. Yeah, I mean, whatever. We're okay. Or we're not, you know. Am I supposed to just trade now? Just, like, offer the trade? I like attack all. Yeah. What happens if they double on the morph? Probably and supposed to cast scale yeah. boom. Why would you not okay. cast dragon scale boom? I don't know. Just checking. We might still be okay. Are you debating dragon scale booming? Yeah, I think I should just boom this, right? I agree. Keep our you know crappy doofus in play. Uh, interesting. I would play the land because we might want to chill into something later. And we've used a force away, which is one of our loots. Here comes like a non zero. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. Uh, there's a non zero chance where we are supposed to um, have played 16 lands with the stack, I think. Man, I really don't remember that being a thing like almost ever, but it sort of maybe feels like the case for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, rock is unbeatable. There's literally nothing you can do. It, like the only the only time I believe I've ever seen a wing rock, wingmate rock lose in limited in this format involved icy blast. That happened to me twice in the same match, and that was it. Yeah. You why are well, why are they casting chill right now? So they want to. I don't know. No, this is like really suspicious. What does this mean? I don't know. I'm attacking. I don't care. Six, uh, four, no, five. Eight. Eight short one. Yeah. It means our opponent's not very good. Possible. Four, five, six, twelve. All right. Attack. <laughs> the marks are dueling in chat. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you see, maybe if your username included Mark, people would know that you were Mark. Uh, Dune Blast is the best rare. It was up there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember that. I think there was like one other best rare. I, let me look at this. I, I'm trying to remember what the other contenders were. I think I'm just going to let them hit me for one damage. I don't believe yeah, it matters. I, yeah, I don't see any reason to do anything else. Team of Battle Rage was in the other set. Fate Reforged, right? Yep. Ooh, a Mardu Warshrieker. So we might see two creatures come down, in which case I still kill my opponent. Uh, Yep, they would need two flyers. Ooh, that's cute. Well, now they're dead. Right? Yeah, they cannot stubborn denial you. I would just avoid getting stubborn denialed. Am I even uh, supposed to show them this? No, why would you? Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. Whoa, what the hell? Delve. No, but like my graveyard jumped out. Yeah, because it wants you to delve. Oh, yeah. Gurmag Angler hasn't been unplayable for that long. Come on, Jarvis. Uh, Ghost Fireblade is one of the best rares in the set. Oh, Crater's Claws was another really good one. I remember casting Warden of Die picking up Crater's Claw. That was a nice combo. The rares oh, in the set Sentinels, just... Sentinels was really good. Yeah, Barashtan that's... Sentinels was very good. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Like, they're token -y, but I don't really want to side in Binding Spray, I think. Um... Yeah, you could water whirl them, but I'm not like. I think you could cut a crippling chill for. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. I'm just yeah, crippling chill is not the greatest against tokens. Your opponent's deck actually looked pretty good. I. 
Yeah, that looked pretty good. I mean, I could Binding Spray if you want me to, but I think it's wrong, right? Well, actually, they are Mardu y, right? They're. I, I would. Oh. I think I could. I don't think they're Mardu y, but I, I think Blinding Spray is a better hedge than Water World because it draws sure. a card. Yep. Who cures Spell Snatcher? What a favorite. It's Spelljack on a morph. That card was so good. Yeah, oh I remember. Gosh. Just never. Just. I would just make sure if you want to draft this format that you know that card exists. Oh, Sagumaler was the other one. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh, <laughs> now I'm just thinking about the Mitchell Gerard Sagumaler story. I don't remember this. Oh, is this the uh, no, the googly the 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 Sagumaler morph card on top of Gerard Sagumaler because oh, yeah. Mitchell just read him for it. Yep. Yeah, Sagumaler was so unbeatable yeah a six six hex proof just big big un whoa oh. yeah our opponent's like a dedicated spell stack all right um rel uh played the three one by the way i don't know why you wouldn't play the three one ug let's go uh we're one one unfortunately we got sort of destroyed in our first round right we lost a mirror to an opponent who had good team or mana and we also had five cards in the second game yeah are you deciding if you should trade for the cavalry or not? It seems like I shouldn't. I agree, and I think you should morph the Kintry Warden. All right. Do you think our opponent's deck is still good? It could be. I, you know, listen. Sometimes you got to get in, busy. In the top four of a team limited Grand Prix, my teammate put multiple of those in their deck and won their match. Was this Alex John? No. Who was it? Craig Wesco. What? That doesn't count. I guess maybe it does count, but I don't know. I would play a land and attack all. Yep. If they block uh, the morph, we actually get to destroy them, I think. Oh, actually... If they, if they block know. morph on morph, we trade. If they block either the 2-1 the on the morph, then we destroy them. All right. Yeah, I will. I take the free equity for sure. Three one is just like a shitter, so I don't really care about it. Wait, it costs one to unmorph and two oh, to activate. Shoot. I actually did it in the wrong way, but it, it ends doesn't up being, matter. Yeah. Whoops. All right, so we got a free card out of them. We got a two. Kind one of. Out. Our one one is not a very good card, but I'm fine with this outcome. Well, removing their creatures for Jeskai Charm is, like, kind of relevant, remember? And we saw Jeskai Ascendancy, so, like, creatures are creatures. And, and Ascendancy. They have two... Yeah, Yeah, exactly. they have two cards that make them want a bunch of stuff. And, like, we're actually rapidly approaching the point of the game where Cavalry is going to be better than a 3-1, right? Because the 3-1's going to get bricked by something else, but Cavalry can trample. I don't have any, effect, like, issues with what happened. Oh, man, we're 40% to open all chests. The channel points are getting there. Oh, you know, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to sponsor Twitch Gambling, aka Channel Point Gambling, because I would never gamble on the match or the outcome of a match for real. Yeah. Channel Point I'm... Gambling is only legal in certain countries. Please check the terms and services. Does it actually say that? It, it, yeah, only certain countries can Channel Point Gamble. I don't know which ones. Wow, that's funny. Even though it's like completely fake. Yes. Some some countries do not appreciate gateway drugs, Jarvis. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna play both my creatures. Yeah. Oh, it's wagering, not gambling. <laughs> People are just spamming that that channel point button. You love to see it or something. It's getting closer to all my chests being opened. That is what it should. Open all chests, Jarvis. Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think our opponent's deck is actually good. I think I'm slamming in with this morph, though. Yep, agree. I'll play your land. Yeah, yeah. I'm Very lagging good. a bit on my end. Yep. I don't know. Let me see if I can... Uh... I'm going to close the Twitch part and see if I can get some good bandwidth going. You think it's a bandwidth issue? Yeah, probably. 
Um, they didn't block. Should I just six them? Probably not, right? I think I would because you can play the like the wind scout being in play for another turn is only worth two damage. Oh sure. Whereas sixing them is worth four damage, and like next turn you can wind scout plus boon. Right. The only argument against this is if you like wanted to put your regenerating blocker on a one one. P Mega says if I can open Valkyrie a sealed event, sell it for treasure chest, and open a Ren six, I'm sure you can get something good out of that. What the heck? How does it feel to be so blessed? That's that's what I'm asking, Ari. Right? Just reading that makes me want to throw up. I wonder if there's a way to do a magic online scratcher race. Probably. No, 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 Jarvis! Why? 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 You just want to take the damage? I don't want to trade off my 2-1. That's 2-1. It's holding off the morph. Alright, fine. I pump fake them. Alright. Yeah, just land battle with the Loxo. If I get kill shotted, it's kind of sad, but it's... I mean, what was your Loxo not going to do? Never attack again? Yeah, that's fair. Question mark? Is it Weapon Master and they think it can target itself? Friend, it says another on it. This was a very common interaction in the format. <laughs> they, I called it, right? I like that. No, Shame Morph Concede. I mean, we, 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 we knew this was going to happen. Or rather... Okay. Well, right. you got 100 play points. You got to run it back, right? I do. Alright, so that was the first draft. We drafted a fine blue-green deck, and, you know, we got our fine, fine 2-1 uh, victory.